with. I wasn't wearing my thong today, so. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I didn't forget. So playing windups. Um. Mm. All right. Let's play three rabbit. You gotta have the secrets or it don't count. Um. These aren't mine. So. Three shark. I feel like these are necessary for the deck. I don't think you need to play them. I just think they're necessary. I'm just kidding. If you play one-ups, you don't play fucking shark. You're stupid. I'm sorry if the camera's moving because this table shakes out the ass. So. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I like I have all my dildos under the table. So. All right, uh, play three one-up rat. Um, I don't think that card's necessary either, but I play it. Um, no, but in all seriousness, though, though, you know, those are the main staples of the wind-up deck. Uh, same with these. Uh, I honestly am kind of start. I like this guy a lot better. I didn't realize what he did. I was like, oh, okay, this guy's cool because, you know, I can boost his attack and run stuff over with. But when I figured out that he could boost the other level levels of other wind-ups, I was like, well, that's that's just fucking stupid. And then, uh, wind-up magician, that card sucks. Um, at one. <laughs> uh... Alright, let's so play a tour guide engine. I honestly would like that to be Night Assailant, but tour bus is fine. Because, uh, you know, Pot of Avarice is gone, so it kind of helps out putting, like, Rad or something back in your deck. Uh, two Maxis and Grammel. Uh, Grammel is just a troll card. I love that. Alright, now for the spells. Catch through Wind Up Factory, Staple, uh, 3 MST. I feel like 3 MST is necessary now because of Heavy's gone. People are going to be running more back row. Uh, two Lance. Same with Lance. I feel like Lance is kind of a necessary card now, too, because of all the back row running around. Especially in this deck, just because people would love to get rid of your wind-up. Uh, two Duality. Um, didn't really have room for a third one, so two's fun. Uh, Dark Hole. And Book Moon. I feel, like that's a, I feel like that's kind of like a typical spell line of this format. I mean, you know, aside from the factories, but as far as that goes, I feel like that's how most decks are going to run spells. That's how I want to run them. Um, Book of Moon's just a really good card now. I don't know. I've always liked Book of Moon, but whatever. Uh, traps. 2D Prison. Uh, 2 Chain. Bottomless. Compulsory. Mirror Force. I don't, I don't know I don't know where this mentality came from. The Compulsory is a bad card now because it's a 1. I don't really understand how people are saying that, but whatever. Uh, Mirror Force. And Torrential Warning. And I play Starlight Roach because of how spammy the deck is. I want to keep those marshals on the field. And Mirror Force is at 2. So. And people are going to be playing that card a lot more now because Torrential is at 1 and all that stuff. So. Uh, enough for the extra deck. Got you. Rank 5, Sotirius, Volcosaurus, uh, Zenmayo, which is great in this deck. Uh, Arms, Leo Arms, or whatever. Um, I realize there's an OTK with this card. I don't really play him for the OTK. I just play him for that awesome Utopia combo thing. So, that's that. Uh, Force, Emerald, Populoperative. A lot of people play, play two. I don't really need the second one. Cowboy, uh, Corn, or Porn. I don't know. And Topia Maestro. Emerald's a lot better. Or Emerald's a obviously I don't know, I kinda of feel like it's necessary in this deck now, just because Pot of Avarice is gone. Um kinda of like that whole tour bus thing I was talking about. Uh Invoker, which is in Mighty. Zen Main Slap and Dragon, Levier, and Gigabrite. Gigabrite's always been a staple in windups. So that's the windup deck I'm playing in this format. Um I think it's pretty good. I, I did get my ass kicked by Mermels, because uh, I'm just going to be honest with you, the guy I was playing against is a fucking cheater. But other than that, uh, it was a good match. Real fair games, really even down the middle. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, we got to the locker room, and uh, it was more just about the sweat on the men than it was anything. All right, so that's the end of the video, guys. Bye.